What's up guys? I'm at Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona and I spotted something that I had never seen before, at least not in person. But I got Tim here who's actually selling this beautiful beast. Go ahead and tell the world who you are and what you got. Hey, how's it going? Tim Leffler and this is a 1984 Toyota Sun Raider. There's the name right there, as a matter of fact. Sun Raider, they built somewhere between 26 and 30 of these in a four-wheel drive over a six-year period. So super rare. Yeah, you just don't super see rare. And I think, as far as we can tell, maybe there's 20 of the actual factory builds on the road. Uh, so it's super rare. Um, of course, when it was stock, it was a lot lower. We've done a lot of undercarriage work <laughs> with it. Yeah. Um, Still got the Toyota straight axle on the front. That's a big selling point right there, having the solid axle. And that's a factory solid axle. Did you change yes. the gearing at all? Uh, yes. We went to 488s because nice. we're running the 33-inch Get the uh, bigger tires. tires yeah. Yeah. Um, what kind of suspension is on there? Leaf springs with yeah, what? Yeah, it's, uh, it's custom leaf springs. I had it all weighed out and uh -huh. then had them built up. So if you ever want to... It gives you more clearance, but also if you want to do an engine swap later. Yeah. It still has the original 22R oh, engine in it. Wow. Um, Can you pop the hood and take a look real quick? Or? Yeah, yeah. So this is pretty stock. Yeah. It's uh, 22 a 22R. R. Nice. Um, I've got an AGM battery up front and it's got air conditioning. It's got the uh, uh, three core heavy duty radiator. Oh, nice for it and uh, it's a manual transmission five speed so the automatic transmission loop inside of the radiator mm -hmm. I actually ran a transfer pump 12 volt that can heat your water for your water heater system oh, as nice. you're driving so that's kind of cool I had to go to an oversized master cylinder because we've gone to four-wheel disc brakes on the rig. Ooh, four wheel disc brakes, big selling point. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. I see an empty spot here. What happened here? That was the uh, coach or rig battery for oh, the camper. Oh, for the camper, yeah. So we've totally redone that with the solar system. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if we got a shot. We've got a 265 watt Kyocera solar panel oh, okay. up over uh, the bed. Uh -huh. So it also kind of shades the bed space, which mm -hmm. is kind of nice. Miles on the engine? Uh, yeah, good point. Um, so the rig has 120,000 original miles. On the body? Uh, the motor was rebuilt um, at 91,000. Wait, so it only had 91,000, and then you rebuilt it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dang, that thing had low miles already. Yeah. For a Toyota, anyway. Yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> That's awesome. It's slow, it's carbureted, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I've been down to Baja, pulled into a little tiny uh -huh. uh, auto parts store, and they didn't have to look up the numbers. I was just going to say, that's probably the upside to going with a classic like this, is that everything is pretty much right off the shelf. 22R, you can get parts anywhere. You, you don't have to worry about all travel. this difficult stuff to have shipped. I've had guys who are like, oh, I had to have stuff shipped to me, and it's like, no, this stuff is easy to find. Yeah. Easy to work on, too, I'm assuming, too, if you yeah, know how no, to work on cars. You know, no sensors, no gizmos to go wrong. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward, bulletproof engine. And then, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't want to speak for you, but I'm assuming this kind of rig, it's more in the gearing than it is the power, right? To get where you're going? It is. Um, some people, you know, will do an engine swap, but, uh -huh. you know, if you get the gearing right, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's good. You don't want to race across you know from arizona to new york speed and breaks it, things right <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you don't want to go too fast some people put the 3.4 in some people do a 4.3 vortex chevy uh -huh. in it um and with the lift um uh -huh. you've got the room to accommodate yeah that if you want to swap and go fast it's pros and cons right i'm a fan of going yeah. slow so it's I'm pros and cons those big chevys are great but they're also gas eaters and they're heavy so it's true it's true <laughs> it's all a switch off and uh, I, di I didn't see who makes this winch. It's an old oh, school cable, huh? It, it, this, is a, this is a cheap winch. I think it's a Harbor Freight. <laughs> there um, you go. I have it for insurance. Yeah, if you I never know. If I get stuck, I do a lot of solo stuff. Yeah. And it'll get me out of a, out of a pinch and save a tow truck. I've, I've heard guys say, you know, you can go almost anywhere with a good winch. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the yeah. definition of a four-wheel drive. Is yeah. It gets stuck in remote places. So, uh, of, of course, since this is a classic, you got the manual locking hubs, right? Yes, exactly. So you got to get out. If you don't, if you guys don't know, if you're 
millennial, a little younger, you probably don't know this, but old school, you had to get out and actually twist that lock to get these uh, axles locked, right? Which is cool because you're freewheeling when you're driving down the road. Yes. There's big, nothing else turning. So the locking hubs. It's uh, actually better in some ways. I think yeah. they are. Yeah. I think they yeah. are. You're not, you're not wearing stuff out. You're not spinning mm -hmm. drivetrain that you don't need. The drivetrain's not spinning. You're good to go. Yeah. Yep. I like that. This is the finest that 1984 had to offer right here. <laughs> That's nice. Pretty sweet. We did upgrade the stereo, I mm -hmm. have to admit. Um, but yeah, it's still in super good shape. And we replaced the seats. They came out of a Chrysler minivan that was going, uh, getting retroed for dis disabled. Um, so these were like center seats mm -hmm. and they fit perfectly in the Perfect old Toyota fit. cab. Nice. Look and at that, no tears, no wears. It's, it's perfect, really. Yeah, yeah, and it leaves you enough room uh, that you know your passenger can pass through the cab to the oh, back. Yeah, look at that. So that's kind of cool. You make some sandwiches while you're going down the road. Mm -hmm. um, this piece of the bed, you can see they've cut out the cab on the Toyota in order to accommodate for the bed and then pass through. Nice. We'll take a look at that when we go inside. Yeah. So you said it's a five-speed five manual. Five-speed and then, of course, your uh, transfer case, your yeah. low range. And yeah, that's cool. You have an actual true low range. So yes. you can go crawl, literally go crawling with this thing. Yeah, very nice. Nice. And nice. With, with the uh, locking hubs, you can actually use it just in the rear wheel if you just want a low gear, but you don't need the four-wheel drive. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, not much on gauges. Um, you've just got the, the water temperature, your fuel gauge, and this has a 26 gallon fuel tank on it. 26, okay. And uh, then I've got the tachometer over oh, in the tack, corner. Okay. Awesome. Uh, pretty old school. Just enough to get the job done. Yeah. Very nice. nice. So this is a motorhome, so it's fully self contained. So we've got gray water and black water tanks. Uh, this is a black water tank, which is, uh, you know, the toilet one. Um, and then underneath also you can see uh, we've replaced the rear axle with a Dana 60 um, and it's a uh, positive traction rear end. Nice. And we also added uh, disc brakes to the rear. That's And huge. we went with uh, Bilstein shocks. So it's a pretty sweet setup. And then up over here we're uh, at the back of the transfer case we have a disc parking brake oh nice because once you go to all disc brakes uh, the the old brake drum parking brake doesn't work so we threw that on there so you can set it and and not have any worries about it heater vent it's a ducted yeah. heater inside nice. so it's pretty cozy uh -huh. um, this is uh, the two uh, batteries for the rig mm -hmm. uh, it's 12 volt uh, group 34 AGM batteries uh, and that runs everything we need to runs the uh, 60 quart uh, built-in Ingo refrigerator nice. and everything else uh, that we need to, to power um, you can't quite see it from here but we've got a Xantrex uh, 1000 in, uh, inverter you'll see that on mm -hmm. the inside and also on the rigging rather than fusing the solar system we actually used a DC breaker box in here <laughs> so you can separate everything out and you're not having to pull fuses that's nice so a real like nice a little, like a little house <laughs> yeah exactly exactly right. and then a, you know a 250 uh, uh, fuse for the inverter also you can see the cable size is yeah, huge monster to carry the load um, up here is a 5000 BTU air conditioner we've put the uh, vent cover up just so you can see it but it's super clean install going down the road. Yeah, it's insulated too, nice. It's insulated around it so it doesn't build up any heat from it. Mm -hmm. um, we took out the original RV refrigerator because they don't you they don't work well on an angle. So if you're if you're off center a little bit, that the ammonia absorption fridge just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And I like ice cubes at 105 degrees, <laughs> and with the Engel yeah. uh, compressor driven 12 volt. Um, there's not a problem at all. If you do plug into shore power, it's also 110 volt. So it senses the power, mm -hmm. go, goes to 110, you unplug it, and it just goes back. Where do you volt. plug in the shore power? Right? Uh, yeah. So I, oh, right I, I, I used a, a marine style 
um, source is a uh, for a 30 amp right there and it's a watertight connection nice uh, so that works pretty sweet um, also has an outdoor shower as well as an indoor shower convenient yeah I Water. prefer the outdoor shower mm -hmm. um, and even, you know, surfing, you want to rinse off, you want to mm -hmm. wash off your wetsuit, mm -hmm. get the sand out. Maybe wash a dog if you have you one. Got it right yeah. here. Yep. Cool. Exactly. Got two uh, propane tanks. Um, That'll last you a long time, depending on A really on how you long use it. time. You yeah. could probably go down to one uh -huh. pretty easily since we got rid of the old gas refrigerator mm -hmm. and still have plenty of it. So if you want some more space for some other gear, you could do that. So over here is where your uh, sewer tank, you know, your sewer the hose, hose goes yeah. in the bumper. Uh, we went to all LED lights um, inside and out. Oh, nice. Uh, these super bright brake uh -huh. lights, tail lights and everything. Um, this is your uh, water connection. So if you're like, you know, city water type yeah. setup, you right can do it. Uh -huh. uh, this used to be the old uh, shore power, uh -huh. but we just disconnected that sealed it sealed it okay. um, went with the marine system it's a lot better and this is just for like uh, cargo racks yeah um, <laughs> i'm assuming cargo yeah racks. you could do cargo rack you could put your uh, i've got it set up for the honda 2000 generator oh yeah if you want to yeah. put it on there nice just yeah whatever you i wouldn't tow it with it really not with this little four banger yeah no. not gonna be towing no. anything really. um What's this right here? And this is a two-piece fiberglass, the Sun Raider. So, That's right. You can see the you know, seam no, right here. There's no seam at the roof. It comes down to here, and uh -huh. then the second part meets up right here. Yeah. Which is cool. This is a four-gallon uh, propane water heater. And again, we ran a yeah, uh, heat exchange loop to the radiator as uh -huh. well. So we can also heat it just by driving down the road <laughs> without nice. having to use any propane. Nice. Kind of cool. Uh, this is your water fill. We've got a 30 gallon water tank. Mm -hmm. So between that and the four gallon, we've got 34 gallons of water that you can carry oh, nice. on the rig. So go you know, for a while. You got a little porch light here by the door. <laughs> this is the original, you can tell. Yep. This is. actually reminds me of my grandma's old Winnebago. <laughs> yeah, because she had something like that too. It's funny. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And, and so then, just you know, just the step, and I think I mentioned the fuel tank, right? Twenty six gallons. Yeah, twenty six gallons. So that's kind of cool. Which is obviously filled right there. Locking fuel cap there. That's a must. You don't want people siphoning your stuff, right? Yep, exactly. Look exactly. at that. And that, this is the original door, obviously. Yeah, you got a deadbolt. Deadbolt, so you can Keep stay more safe. Secure. Nice. Uh, is, are these windows all upgraded or are these original? No, these are original. Oh, they're original. Wow. Yeah, they're original. in really good condition, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. That's pretty clean. Yeah, oh, we've got a, a carefree uh, awning. awning. Also, box that's important. Style awning. Keep the sun off you. Nice for the desert southwest or Baja, Oh, yeah. For sure. All right, so from the front to the back, what are we looking at here? Okay, so here's the front of the, the uh, overhang, so the solar panel is up above mm -hmm. it. And this piece here, if you just swing it over. Can you show them uh, how it slides down there? So you swing this over. Got there you go. What they call an RV queen size bed. Nice. Right here. So yeah. two adults could fit this way. Yes, how yeah. my wife and I do it. Yep. Yeah, nice. Um, and you still got a little view if you want to check it out. It's you got actually, some windows. Got a lot of a lot of views. Open. You got windows here, corners. Yeah, the wraparound windows, and then these two are operable. Open. Nice. And then there's also a little fan here, so if it's um, warm at night. Nice. And uh, LED lights all changed out on yeah, the inside, and a little switch for the fan. Mm -hmm. So if you want to run that, it's off a 12 volt. I like it. Got a little privacy screen too. Yeah, cool. and so you can close that, and there's also. Uh, this, this has little snap clips, so you um, isolate the, the rig from the cab. So if it's a hot or cold, you, you know, it helps keep that temperature however you want the inside to be. Nice. I like how simple it is, you know. Back in the old days, they just kept things super simple. And we kept it kind of mm. retro on the inside with mm -hmm. upholstery. I just think it's kind of, it's that hint of grandma's little motorhome. But, yeah. Uh, as you saw, the undercarriage is anything but that. That's it's got the retro thing in so spades. Here's, uh, here's the uh, wet shower. All right. So it just has a drain in it. You just pull <clears> the carpet <throat> out, and does that. We put a marine uh, toilet paper holder, 
so it doesn't get wet yep, when you're showering. Nice dry. A little medicine cabinet. It's got a fantastic vent, uh, three-speed thermostatically controlled, reversible, uh, which is nice to your mm -hmm. partner, you know. So you're in here doing business mm -hmm. and turn on the vent. How tall are you, by the way? Um, five ten. Five ten. So yeah, that's a good example of how much room you have if you're five ten. So I can fit in here. I've uh, got to duck a little bit towards the back, but yeah. other than that, you can actually fit pretty nicely. Now put this back. All right. And the, there's also a heater duct that goes into that bathroom and goes into the rest of it. Um, so here's the coat closet. You could use it for other type storage as well if you want to add to it. Nice. Stay organized. And below here, this is the the heater propane and again it's ducted so it goes to different parts on the rig uh, here's your silverware drawer so you know you can have everything totally organized in a small space that that's probably one of the big things about living small is staying organized <laughs> absolutely yeah absolutely so here is uh, the front of the air conditioner that we saw from the outside mm -hmm. just have to be sure you open the vent before you operate it um, and you're pretty good to go a little storage here and this is the Ingle I think it's the SR-70 uh, built-in so this is made for the marine industry like sailboats mm -hmm. so you can be up to a, a 30 degree tilt um, and it still operates at 100% efficiency where the RV ones if you're even five degrees off you're gonna burn it out I'm sure that whoever buys this really appreciates that you upgraded to that. Yeah. And, you know, I was down in, in courtside on the way to a concert and, you know, even at 105 mm -hmm. degrees outside, I'm, you know, making ice cubes. That's uh, funny, that, that style of ice cube uh, maker reminds me of the old days, way back <laughs> in the days. Yeah, huh? Yeah. yeah, before ice makers, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, we re rebuilt this whole cabinet to accommodate the, the new nice fridge and then here's the, the uh, thousand watt Zantrek uh, pure sine wave inverter so if you need to you know run something off of your you know charge your laptop or mm -hmm. you know your little uh, smoothie uh, breakfast mm -hmm. you know mixer or whatever you need to run uh, good clean can, uh, good clean electricity coming out you can do yeah. that I mean you know this is all boondock style camping nice you know, of course if you plug into a shoreline then we have other outlets that you can also use mm -hmm. as well so that's kind of that um, uh, let's let's talk about what's on this side okay so here's the uh, propane stove and oven and this has been replaced uh, very few hours on it the old one uh, gave up and the parts were more than the new stove so <laughs> put a new stove in yeah um, you got the sink the hot water cold um, this is where your water pump is your uh, gauges I like that those are original buttons. <laughs> yeah, it's still old school. You know what I like about the older styles too? Is you have like a traditional style sink. It's not a folding mechanism like you see in these brand new ones. It's just more like a house. Yeah. Like a miniature residential. Okay. It's pretty comfy. My wife likes all the conveniences. So, you know, the pan drawer, um, you know, and so like your, you know, your canned goods, your heavier stuff, you always want to pack all that stuff down low. Mm, center um, of gravity. You know, so you're not too top heavy with your rig. And we replaced all these cabinets down here. So when you're into like a electric source or generator, uh, you got the USB ports here and then your regular 110 volt. And in here, the one side's hard to see. Oh, this, this is a USB. Nice. And then this is your accessory one, you know, kind of like the cigarette lighter. Yeah. Um, so you can run like an uh, uh, evaporative cooler that runs off of those. There's a guy down in Tucson that makes them. And uh, you can use that boondocking for evaporative cooling if you're out in the desert. Nice. Um, so I, I fuse those heavily to where they can handle that kind of a system. And then up here is another little switch, and that's the the pump that transfers the heat from the radiator loop mm -hmm. back to the water heater. So you just flip that on when you're driving and you got hot water in an hour when you go to stop for the night. Cool. 
So it's kind of cool. Uh, the rear dinette to me is one of the coolest things about the Sun Raider 18 foot. Um, you back up into the, your view, you know, I've seen the Olympic Mountains, mm -hmm. I've seen Oh yeah, you know, the, I've seen the Sea of Cortez out this window. Oh, that's cool. It look is at that. just friggin' awesome. You know, everywhere you look, there's something to see. You um, could be having your uh, breakfast and coffee on a beautiful lake or whatever. It's just this is nice. This yeah, is really nice. and of course, like most RVs, you know, this this is movable, so you know you can slide in. Oh, you I can see. sit a lot of people here. Yeah, um, and then of course you can drop it down as well and make another uh, small mm. bed in the back. Now, can you actually use your rear view mirror and uh, look you, out this? You can, uh, but, and I've got this little magnifying, magnifying thing, yeah. <laughs> so you can kind of see where you're going back there yeah as well i'm actually i'm actually surprised with all the modern upgrades you put in here you don't have a backup camera <laughs> yeah okay. no you I, could add one if you wanted to whoever yeah. buys it they can do that if well, they want my to. lovely wife is usually yeah. a spotter for me oh yeah yeah i'm retired from the fire service and uh -huh. so i always have a backer S spider a spotter yeah yeah a spotter. exactly yeah. um cool. we've got carbon monoxide detector nice we've got a smoke detector, smoke detector up here and we've got our uh propane gas detector down there oh nice so plate safe and keep it keep it nice nice um, and all the lights have been you know changed over to led Whew, those are bright and very they cool use very little i think they pull six watts if you have both these on and uh so if you do the math you know the two battery system and the, and the solar panel is like pretty plush and you got more cabinets too right yeah Yes, for, um, um, so this side we usually use for, you know, like clothes, mm -hmm. and this side's usually more like for lightweight type cooking stuff, mm -hmm. paper towels and all those kinds of supplies. So there's a lot of storage for an 18 foot camper. Nice. Oh, I just noticed you have some significantly sized speakers too. Yeah, we've got some <laughs> sound and uh, a little map storage and stuff yeah. like that here too. Yeah. So no, it's, you know, it's pretty well thought out, I think. Yeah. You know, for the size, Sun Raider really had kind of an early vision of, mm -hmm. you know, some overland ways to go with some comfort. Yeah. So. That obviously uh, converts into a bed as well, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just, you pull this piece off, oh, okay. this drops down, and sits on the cushions bench. around, and you, you can sleep maybe two kids. One That's what adult, I'm thinking. Two kids. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then uh, last thing I don't think we touched on is the microwave. That microwave, comes in handy. Yeah. And Just so, enough. Yeah. It's tiny, it, but gets a job it's done. It's tiny, but it works. Mm -hmm. uh, works on generator or shore power. You could actually make an extension cord and run it in and run it off of your inverter too, <laughs> boondocking. So however you want to set it up. Nice. Definitely do it. Very cool. So you think we got pretty much everything uh, talked yeah, about? Yeah, I think so. There was just that second uh, fantastic vent. And again, you know, it, it's oh, thermostatically fan. controlled, three-speed reversible. Mm -hmm. So what I like about it is I can open it up and set the thermostat. And you go for a hike in the morning when it starts to get hot, the fan just pops on when it needs to. Nice. Keeps the heat out. So if you got, you know animals in here you just don't want to get everything hot mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a cool setup um, the only other thing we didn't show is the uh, wide body yakima outside oh, okay. so it's set up for a three rack system let's go um, cool. let's go take a look since you got me here all right so if you look up above the awning here you can see the three uh racks oh yeah it's they're, they're sloped just slightly towards the front for uh -huh. aerodynamics so i've carried up to a 22 foot sea kayak up there oh wow so you got three crossbars a little uh plywood catwalk that goes mm -hmm. in the center of it uh so you can get up and not stand on the roof oh and you nice. can lash down your gear yeah i, I have a tule pod that mm -hmm. you know went up there is that so, going to come with it if you sell it uh the the rack system uh, for a full price offer, absolutely. Oh, okay. Um, the Thule pod, probably not, because it's on my Jeep. But the three <laughs> rack system, it's a 78 inch long. Okay. And with three racks, you can do long boards, you can do Thule pods, you can do kayaks, you can do whatever you want up there. Nice. And uh, there's plates behind each one of those plates. Uh, mm. 
or the wide body so you're not tweaking the fiberglass so yeah. it's super strong yeah, you never want to stand on fiberglass yeah no <laughs> no um that's an awesome rundown by the way on this beautiful rig Let, let's you. talk about just real quick because we were talking about this off camera i think just some of the places that this thing has been because uh, people want to know how, what it, it's capable of right where are well, you taking it let's see just about uh anywhere it'll go in the desert southwest arizona mostly in the uh -huh. deserts and the cool part if you kind of look at the angles with this lift mm -hmm. is your departure and approach angles are really good so you can go through little washes uh -huh. and you're not scraping the bumpers going yeah. in and out uh, i've been down to the tip of baja california with it nice uh great little surf rig Mm -hmm. uh, it does good in the sand, does good on the rocky roads. We've been all the way up to uh, Tofino on Vancouver Island with our sea kayak. Oh, nice. Uh, way up north. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, mm -hmm. slow travel. Uh, mm -hmm. We try to take the back roads or dirt roads whenever we can. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's definitely seen a lot of wild places. Cool. Whoever buys this, they're definitely getting a gem because you put a lot of work into this thing to make it bomb-proof, it seems like. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's been a labor of love, <laughs> and I wouldn't sell it other than we sold our house and we're full time RVing and okay. towing the Jeep now. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I, so let's end this with um, the price that you're asking, anyway, mm -hmm. and then uh, how to contact you. Yeah. So uh, asking price is thirty nine thousand. I've got over forty five thousand in receipts. Mm -hmm. um, that's not, I'm not surprised. That's yeah. not that's not counting my <laughs> one hour of labor. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you, there's months of labor. Yeah, to pay somebody to do all the work you did is oh, I don't oh, even want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be off the chart. <laughs> but um, so yeah, that's the asking price. Uh, that's not bad, really. I mean, considering yeah. what you're getting, a classic car with a bomb-proof engine, all the electrical upgrades. I mean, there's rigs in here that are probably three yeah. times as much as this, and not even as cool as this thing, man. That's cool. So that's where we're going with it. Okay. Uh, my name's Tim. Uh, you can reach me uh, email at uh, Tim, T-I-M, the letter Y, and then Maria, my lovely wife, at gmail.com. So Tim E. Maria at gmail.com. Cool. All right, guys. If you guys want to check some pictures out uh, of this rig on Instagram, it's got an interesting name. Can you read that out for me? It's called Vishnu the Schist. So Vishnu, V-I-S-H-N-U-T-H-E, the, and then Schist, like the geology, S-C-H-I-S-T, Vishnu the Schist. There you go. You can see even more pictures of this thing on Instagram. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is a look at one of the coolest Toyota trucks I've ever seen. And uh, again, this is like a unicorn. I've never seen this in person. Thank you for showing me around on this beautiful rig. My pleasure. It, it kind of sucks you got to part with it, but, you know, life is a journey, right? You got to yeah, move on to other things. You know, looking for a good home for it. Yeah. yeah I mean, oh, you'll find one for sure. That's a great place to, to showcase it. If I had... 30 what was it 30 uh 39. if i had dollars, i'd probably buy this right now i don't i just don't have the money but I, this is right up my alley i love this thing awesome. all right so um i'm gonna fly around this uh this uh rv as a as just kind of like admir admirer of what i'm looking at here but thanks a lot man hey thank you and thank you so uh much. let's just fly around this thing and get one more la one last look before we go Right, guys leave a like to support my channel and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this awesome Toyota RV from the 1980s thanks a lot guys take care <laughs>